Alright. <clears throat> this is Mama to Five coming back at you with a very strange game that I saw somebody playing online. And I just had to try it for myself. And this game is called. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. Kokoro no Doki Doki Senpai. And I have no idea what it's about. But I do know that it's quite adult and <laughs> deals with very adult situations. So it really, as the warning said, isn't appropriate for those under 18. Also, I have to apologize. There is some bad language in this game. I was browsing through it already. And I usually do not curse in any of my videos. I pride myself on that. But I do have to say the words that are on the screen because that's how it's written. That's how the story is written. So I do apologize for the bad language. I'm quite embarrassed. But I love my life too! Okay, without further ado, before the music starts back up again. Here I go. Alright. Today is my first day at Sakura Blossom Academy. I am so excited to go to my first class, but also very nervous too. My life has not always been this crazy, and I'm not looking forward to what the future might bring. It is scary because it is unknown. I'm hoping my first day will be good, though, because a journey of a thousand miles begins, begins with a single step. That is what my grand-grand would always tell me, at least. I don't always believe her, though, because she also spoke to her cats. <laughs> Okay. I am sure my first day will be great though. I am assigned to class B-52. Hey, B-52s. Great band. The class is called Learning from Mental Defectives. It teaches me how to learn. I don't get it. My student aid buddy is a girl named Mokuyobi. I have never met her before, but her name means Thursday. She must be an important person to be named after day of the week. I have never really thought about girls romantically until now. I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? Mm-hmm. I know that a third-year student like myself shouldn't be thinking such naughty thoughts about a first-year Mokuyubi. So instead, I think about what I should do next. Go to the cafeteria and order a su super sugoi, sugoi bento box desune. Whip out your Johnson in front of the student body. Take a moment to reflect on your relationship with your grandmother. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. Before I get to do what I'm planning on doing, the bell rings. I'm late for class. I curse at myself in my head for my utter carelessness and tardiness. I just realized I have not seen my student aid buddy, Mokuyubi, yet. She must be late for class as well. I wonder if this means we're meant to be together forever. Oh, here we go. I'm about to leave when I turn my head. I'm nearly blinded by the radiant goddess of beauty that stands before me. Oh, hi -oh. I'm Moku-chan. Um, I guess I'm your new student aid buddy? <laughs> this is pretty great. I have never had such a kawaii little brother before. He must be the new student. Player Kun, right? She thinks I'm kawaii. Alright. Maybe the stars are right and we are meant to be together for all eternity and beyond. I'm Player Kun. Yeah. Are you Mokuyubi? <laughs> Silly. Call me Moku-chan. All my friends do. What? She thinks I'm her friend? Just a friend? Not soulmate? Not handsome stranger? Not star-crossed lover? Not even casual sexual partner? My heart sinks in disappointment. I have been put in the friend area. Aw, oh, poor guy. He's been friend-zoned. This pretty girl already thinks I'm nothing more than a friend. Okay, Moku-chan. 
Okujan has given me this eye stare thing. I can't tell if she's peering into my soul with gypsy magic or is attempting to address me with her eyes. Are uh, you okay, player Kun? You look really sad all of a sudden. Shit. Did she notice that I like her that easily? Fuck. I got too careless. I can't make a mistake like that again. It could be the end of me. Oh, no, I'm fine. See? Fine. I try to force a smile, but it doesn't work, really. I don't think Moku-chan is buying my poorly fabricated charade. I don't want her to catch on to me, though. I need to think of a distraction, and fast. Eat the whole booty, get the fuck out of there, what are you doing, you stupid idiot. Pork chop sandwiches! Get up. As I'm gearing up to take some seriously drastic action, the school bell rings. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Trademark. Nice. That was a very good show back in the 80s. 90s. Oh, fucking hell, we're late for class again. Your teacher's going to get so mad at you. What a main way to make the first impression. <laughs> Moka Chan giggled at my misfortune. Her black twin tails bob up and down ever so gingerly as her tiny breasts try to jiggle in her school uniform. But don't. Wait, it gets worse. Her laugh rattles my heart, my bones, and my ears. It's very high pitched. It is so fucking quiet. I turn to begin her, begin following her through the hallway to the classroom. I have no idea where I'm going. Her monochrome booty serves as a proverbial white rabbit, leading me to the wonderland of knowledge known as Secure Blossom Academy. I am enamored with her young butt. Before I know it, we have arrived at the classroom. Wow, this is your classroom? Muku Chan is staring at the door to the class in shock, as if she had just seen something awe inspiring. This is my Oni Chan's classroom. Sugoi! Her big brother? He's in my class as well? What kind of conspiracy is this? Is the school faculty plotting against me, trying to torment me with this? I'm very reluctant to enter the door to the class after hearing this unsettling news. Maybe you and my Oni-chan will become best friends and have sleepovers. I go up as sweat begins to coagulate around my next double. Not good. Wouldn't that be funny? My brother and the new kid. Best friends forever. I'm having a hard time breathing. Then at your sleepovers, you would get to see me running around the house in my pantsuit. I wonder what that is. You know, like underwear, I guess. Uh, like lingerie. Suddenly, this <laughs> idea doesn't sound so seem so bad. Typical adolescent. I love running around in my around my house in barely any clothing. It's one of my hobbies. It's good to have a hobby, you know. Perhaps this conspiracy is not as malicious as I had once thought. It seems as though the stars are once again leading me to my destiny and to Moku-chan's first year pussy. Ugh. Score! Yeah, that actually sounds nice. I should get to know your brother. I'm sure he's a nice guy like me. He's waiting for you behind that door. It's a door to your classroom. He's in your class. Get going. You're already late, you silly retard. Go into the classroom and introduce yourself. Go to the classroom and take a shit on your desk. Go into the classroom and proclaim your love for Moku-chan. It doesn't matter what you pick. I muster up as much courage as I can. What I'm about to do is going to be the most dramatic thing I have ever done in my entire life. I open the door. I slip on a banana peel that is laying on the floor and nearly break my neck at the sheer force of impact. I pass out. When I wake, I'm greeted by a horrifying sight. Ah! What is that monster? I'm in hysterics. That's not a very nice new kid. I'm not that ugly. 
Baka. I'm talking about that creature next to you. Baka means stupid. Oh, that's Largo Senpai. He's not a monster. He's just European. Upon learning that this creature is European, all I can picture is his uncircumcised penis. I begin to shriek once again in sheer horror. Stop that. You're gonna break my ears with that noise. Stop screaming when I realize the European monster is not doing anything at all. He's just staring at nothing in particular. What a fucking creep. Says you're beggaring, scrubs! You children must stop fighting. The school is not Africa. This is no place for civil war. I can tell that this man is a teacher. He's a scary man. I don't like when adults shout. It almost makes them sound mad. My name is Sensei Sensei. I'm going to be your teacher this year. This is going to be your only class because you are special students. This class is called Learning for Mental Detectives. You will learn how to learn. But Sensei Sensei, I don't have a learning disability. I have emotional ang problems and angst. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Y'all are mental defectives according to your permanent records. What did he just say? I don't have any mental problems. I'm a perfectly average Japanese male. So, listen up, you window lickers. I'm going to spend the next 145 days trapped in here with you troglodytes. I might, we might as well make this pleasant. Tell me your names and stuff about yourselves. I'll start with you, skinny jeans. Uh, my name is Emo Kun. I'm the lead singer of my hardcore band, Tears of Unenthusiasm. I'm touring next month. I'm gonna be playing at my cousin's eighth birthday party and at an rec center every other Friday. I also like death, roses, skulls, sadness, metrosexuality, eye makeup, and hair dye. Obviously. I wanna be a professional. Aesthetic. When I grow up, I just kill that word. I'm working on my aesthetic now. You sound like a cock slab. Next person. All right. What is your major mouth fang function, fathead? The big-headed freak named Mojo Senpai just stands there, staring. He doesn't seem like much of a talker, but I can feel there's a slight disturbance in the force. God, it's annoying. I think the universal hum that per permeates all beings has momentarily reached singularity. I pee a little as my eardrums melt and sink into the recesses of my brain. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you with us, Ambassador. I find Sensei Sensei's response a little bit off kilter. How about you, you sloppy looking degenerate? What's your deal? My name is Playerkun. I'm from Shibuya. Shibuya. And I'm a pretty average guy. I like average things like bean curd, mathematics, formality, respecting elders, martial arts, and pencil. My favorite TV shows are Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, but I occasionally watch Burst Angel when I'm being no good. Maybe I do have mental problems. You sound like a perfectly average adolescent Japanese male. Perhaps you should not be in this class. I should report you to the authorities. No, this can't happen. If I'm kicked out of this class, I will never be able to befriend Moku-chan's brother and see her pantsu. Shit, this is not good. No, sir, I do have mental defections. I begin to eat paste out of a jar in large quantities. Slow down there, champ. You get a tummy ache. <laughs> wow, you must be both mentally challenged and hungry. I think it's time we all took a lunch break. I am nervous about eating my first lunch away from home. Grand Grand would always tell me that bad men will put cyanide and semen into your bento box when you're not looking. 
Whew. Hold on one second. I gotta take a break and get something to drink. Be right back. Okay, I'm back after procrastinating and falling asleep. Wow, I'm tired. Hard work. Editing and recording and playing all the time. Alright, back into the story. Cyanide's another matter. Well, anyway, I get my food and make my way to the tables. I see Moku-chan sitting at one of the tables alone. I wonder why such a pretty young girl isn't surrounded by a harem of young men at all times. Hey, Moku-chan. Is anyone sitting here? I am silly, can't you see? Well, I meant, is anyone else sitting here? No, you must be blind or something. I'm the only one sitting here, fuck ass. Moku-chan giggles very disuly. I can't get mad at the insult because she's just too cute. Can I sit here? You have to sit here. It's my job to make sure you don't hurt yourself, so I have to watch you most of the time. Most of the time? Well, I mean, I trust you to do certain things by yourself, like walk around school without cracking open your noggin and letting the kind of cheese that is your brain seep out. That's insulting. And of course, I'm not going to follow you into the boys' bathroom or anything. That's dirty. Moka-chan winked at me. I have no, absolutely no fucking clue how to interpret this right now. What do you have on your plate there? Perfect time to say something that will make her think I'm witty. What are you blind? Can you not see what's on my plate here? Moka-chan's disposition immediately changes from chipper and lighthearted to extremely sad and brooding. It is at this moment that I realize she looks a bit like Emo-kun. Why would you say that? Making fun of the less able is immature and childish. You should be ashamed of yourself. Clearly, I am not blind. Your feeble attempts at witticism are embarrassing and make my opinion of you sink to new lows. If your personality was a penis, it would be small and fa flaccid. How could this happen? I'm such a screw-up. It seems that now the stars are conspiring against me once again. I would have said, well, you said the same thing. I'm just kidding. Making fun of the less able is one of my favorite things to do. Make up your fucking mind, stars. Moka Chan giggles and spews, spews spittle. She covers her mouth, attempting to contain her spit. I wish she didn't, though. I would love her for her mouth fluids to touch my face. Okay, that's just a little bit creepy. That memory would have would make ex <laughs> excellent fat material. Are you thinking about dirty thoughts, player Kun? No. I begin to sweat. Yes. That was something I would not do. And even if I did, can you blame me? I mean, you are such a beautiful girl, Moku-chan. I know, but don't go getting any ideas, pervert. Baka! That must have been my puberty acting up again. I must learn to have tact. If I keep making mistakes like this, I will end up losing Melko Chan forever. Even the stars may not be able to help me if I majorly fuck up in the future. In any case, I don't want to get caught with my pants down. No more surprises. I'm going to think everything through and not be stupid anymore. Being stupid is a pretty dumb idea after all. Moku Chen and I start up a new conversation. I will not fail at succeeding now. You seem like a perfectly average adolescent Japanese male. I bet you watch anime. Actually, I do. Nerd. You've got to be shitting me. It's okay. My brother is an otaku, too. You two would get along great. Yeah, I don't think I saw your brother in class today. What's his name? Emo-kun. Oh! <laughs> wow. That's why she looked like him. Man, that was a really tiring first day of school. I can't believe that Moku-chan's brother is that annoying, brooding, cockslap Emo-kun. Maybe my plan to smell her pants so won't come to fruition after all. That's my plan, by the way. 
Ugh, that emo gun. I have no idea what the two of us could possibly have in common. He wears tight jeans, I wear loose fitting jeans. <laughs> oh, excuse me. He listens to tight jeans music, I listen to K-pop. He reads books about vampires in tight jeans. I read books about magical girls that chip and their boobs are forced into the face of the male protagonist. See? Nothing in common. Sheesh. I can't wait to get back to my new dorm room. I haven't been there since this morning. I forget what it looks like. Come to think of it, I forget what my parents sent me to this boarding school in the first place. Maybe it had to, something to do with the fact that my mother is an alcoholic. My father's away at work all the time. Plus, half the time he's there, he's fucking his secretary. I don't think either of my parents are qualified to be parents, so they sent me here so that my teachers would be my parents. Or something like that. <clears throat> Fuck if I know. I'm just looking forward to watching some Echi, I guess, Echi, Echi, and getting to bed. I'm bushed. I open my door and find the worst of all. What are you doing here, dweeb? That emo con really steams me up. This is my dorm room, butt face. Impossible. This is my dorm room. Why am I not fucking surprised? Seems like we were roommates then. Yeah, looks like it. In that case, let me learn, lay down some ground rules. Don't ever look at my secret box. There are some personal items in there that are meant to be secret because dorks like you can't appreciate to her true art. I'm already lost. Don't get any crumbs on my bed. Don't ever wear any of my clothes or use my makeup. And by the way, I really hope you like my amazing band, Tears of Unenthusiasm, because we're going to practice in here. You know, dude, that name is really gay sounding. What? I said, you know, dude, that name is really great sounding. I would like to rub my flaccid penis on the face of an anther from Wow, that's a heck of a word there. Anthropomorphized incarnation of your band. Yo, nice. It was then that Emo Gun smirked at me for about half a second, but he did it nonetheless. You know, maybe you are a cool guy. I can't really tell yet. Same with you, man. I just hope you're not like anal about stuff or anything. Oh no. I do like anal. Ooh. What? I said, would you be interested in eating a bowl of Captain Crunch? It's nature's superfood. What is natural about Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch. Do they even sell that in this country? You don't question the captain. He'll fuck you up. Just shut up and eat it. You'll thank me later. Okay. I wake up the next morning and I have a funny feeling in my pants. There's a gi giant circle of piss that apparently permeated my pants and wetted the bed sheets. Oh, great. I'm freaking out. I look to see if Emocon is watching. It would be so embarrassing if he was. Luckily, he's long gone. I run into the hallway to see if I can use the bathroom. I suddenly feel like I have to shit. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. This is no good. <laughs> I'm gonna shit myself right in this hallway. In the co ed hallway, no less. Super kawaii girls will laugh at my inability to control my bowels. I try to cleanse my cheeks and cover my crotch area so others can't see my pee stains. But what the hell was in that, uh, that cereal? What is wrong with me? Am I losing it? I'm certainly losing any knowledge of potty training I may mean, once have received. I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? I can't control it. I'm gonna lose myself. God! Jeez. I just fucking shat my pants in the hallway. What could have done this? Must have been the captain. 
Damn you, Captain Crunch! Damn you to hell. All these showers are occupied. Class starts in five minutes. I'm gonna be late for school. This is such an unusual predicament that I'm sure no one in my posi position has ever felt it before. Why someone would be late for, to school for any reason other than shitting themselves is a profound mystery indeed. I'm going to change my clothes, but I'm still going to smell like shit and piss all day. And so I did. At lunch, Moku-chan does not want to sit next to me because of the smell. I sit alone like a loser. It's a conspiracy. Sensei-sensei tells me to leave class and take a shower when I get back. When I got back because he finally noticed the smell. Emo Khan explains to me that Captain Crunch is a controlled substance in some countries. He ever asked if I ever learned about it in health class. I tell him I didn't. He calls me a dweeb. <laughs> dweeb. He says he only gave me 10 ounces, which shouldn't have been enough to cause me to overdose. Apparently, I can't hold my sweetened corn and <laughs> oat breakfast cereals. <laughs> wow. I didn't know Captain Crunch was a drug. I'll have to remember that next time my husband goes to the store and gets cereal for the kids. I guess I'm going to have to develop a tolerance if I'm going to survive in today's competitive workforce. I go to class again the next day. I no longer smell like piss and shit, which is preferable to my prior olfactory status. The lunch purveyors are out of every possible food. Sushi, rice, kimchi, hamburgers, sandwiches, curry bread, they got jack shit except for one thing. Cereal. I am face to face once again with my own nemesis. In class I pray that I can hold my projectile shit until I get back to my dorm. You know that feeling when you take a shit and it's just so satisfying? That's how I feel right now. You know what? I have a feeling that this is going to be a pretty boring sequence, so you might want to just click through it, but don't click too fast or you'll be a big willy and miss important plot events. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I go to class. I go eat lunch. Not Captain Crunch this time. More class. I rub one out with emo gun in the room. I'm sleepy now, so I'm going to sleep. This is getting repetitive. I tell Moku-chan about what happens to me when I eat Captain Crunch. She makes me eat some on a dare. Oh, jeez. She's so nice. I do it because she probably thinks I'm a pussy-ass bitch and also because I still yearn for her pantsuit. My tummy hurts, but I don't uncontrol the shit. That's a good sign. When the hell am I even learning in this class anyway? Not like nothing. Apparently not much because I never never seem to have homework. I watched the newest episode of Nura, Naruto Shippuden instead. I momentarily question what I'm doing with my life. For a moment I feel like I might be a homophobic misogynist creep, but I shrug off the thought. I realize I don't care about anything and snuggle into my secure body pillow. Ooh. I love body pillows. <laughs> I have Right here. <laughs> if I wasn't stupid before taking learning for mental detectives, I think I am now. All I do every day is listen to Sensei Sensei rant and then I color in my coloring book. Sensei Sensei is very impressed by my ability to stay within the lines. Wow! It's kindergarten. Never really thought of myself as an artist, but now I'm kind of I'm a boss at it. You know, art. I feel like I'm really bonding with Moku-chan. Oh, Moku-chan, your pantsu will be mine. And your brother is none the wiser of my master plan. I try to refrain from cackling like a silly bitch. Since I don't have any homework or any schoolwork or of any kind, for that matter, I figure I will devise a plan to acquire Moku-chan's pantsu. I try to think of a diabolical but I can't really. It's hard for me to work on an empty stomach. You would think that being in direct contact with Moku-chan would make it easier for me to devise a scheme to nab a pantsu. But not only does it make it hard to concentrate, 
it makes me want to aim higher. Why does it require her pants and whoops? Let me do that. Does that sound creepy? Am I a creepy guy? Hmm. Nah. I've decided to name the project Mokuyobi Nani Pansu Acquisition Program. I think it has a nice ring to it. With my goal inside, I can't help but revel in its smell. It smells like strawberry scratch and sniff sticker. Well, it seems like my plan is coming along just swimmingly. I've already come up with a name for this plot, and that's the hardest part, right? Coming up with names is really hard. You know when you're writing a story, and you're trying to come up with a character's name, and you're like, FUCK! I didn't think this would be that hard! I do it all the time. But it is. It's very hard. It's hard as my dick when I think about Moku-chan's pantsu. And I say earlier that a third year like myself shouldn't be thinking dirty thoughts about a first year like Moku-chan. Fuck that noise. She's the only human being that acknowledges my existence, and for all I know, her vagina smells like strawberries. Delusions never hurt anybody unless they do, but this is important. I'm not a popular kid like Lojo Senpai. It's been a few weeks now, and the Mokuyabi Nadi Pansu acquisition program is going just as planned. I've not really thought of anything besides the name, but I still think that's the most important part anyway. Makes it sound official. I'm hoping some sort of inspiration will hit me and direct me to my next course of action. It's hard being this smart, but someone's got to do it. Listen up, maggots! It's that time of year again. That's right, you come guzzling sacks of worthless scum. That's exactly what you thought it would be. Your worst fucking nightmare. Um, Sensei Sensei, are you having one one of your PTSD flashbacks again? You're not in the killing fields right now. You're at school. Of course I know, you insufferable piece of crap. This is the time when everything matters. It's the time of examinations. Oh god, I hate exam times. That used to be my worst nightmare. What could we possibly be tested on? We didn't do a damn thing in this class besides coloring coloring books. Both sculptures out of macaroni and post YouTube comments. YouTube! All of which require no thought and are the mental equivalent of playing Operation without the batteries. <laughs> Game ward. <laughs> sensei, Sensei, what have we been tested on? You need to prove to the rest of the world that you have made progress and are on your way to living on your own without the need of an aid. What? I don't need an aid. I'm perfectly fine. Then why have you been eating paste for the past three minutes? Holy shit, he's right. What have I become? I can't control my ball movements. <laughs> I eat paste. Next thing you know, I'll be licking the tile floor. Stop licking the tiling! Oh my god, holy shit, I'm such an asshole! So listen up, you floor lickers. You're going to be tested on your ability to function like a normal human being in society. You're going to be tested on writing your name, tying your shoes, and knowing how to appropriate funds to an offshore account in Barbados in the event you embezzle millions from a hedge fund brokerage firm. Sensei, Sensei, I feel like one of those things doesn't really belong in that list. It doesn't matter what you think. We've all agreed you're a cock slap. Yeah, I still think that guy's a cocksuck. So you cunt suckers need to study for this test and pass. Otherwise, I'm not going to be rehired next semester. None of us want that. Because if I'm fired, you will be the ones to pay. I know where you all live. I know where your families live. I will destroy you and everything you love. There will be absolutely no trace of you left on this earth and not a soul will live to mourn you. That was scary. Well, that seems like it would put a few kinks in my Mokuyabi, Mokuyabi Naughty Pants to Acquisition Program. Whew, try to say that ten times fast. Whew. I'm going to have to try to pass this test. 
You could try to slow me down, Sensei Sensei, but this is just a speed bump in the road to cons consensually program mo probing Moku Chan's monochrome snatch pipe. I conceived a plan so the waste of waste of space will actually pass, even though that seems highly unlikely due to your performance records. I'm going to assign each of you a study buddy. It'll be the job of each study buddy to make sure that their partner passes, otherwise I will kill their family. Yo! Okay! Now, Ambassador, you will be exempt from this exam, because I am well aware that this will not be a problem for you. Ambassador? I think he's talking about Larjo Sentai. That guy is so weird, but all the ladies love him for some reason. I think it's because women love a strong silent type. The rest of you, player con, emo con, you must buddy up and make sure you both pass. Oh, fucking lame. Hey, I thought we were friends, man. Yeah, we are, but now you're gonna have to come back to my house and meet my sister. Sister? Moku-chan? We might even have to have a sleepover. Sleepover? God, I hope my sister doesn't do that thing she always does. Could it be Pencil? I know my plan will all come together in the end. I am a genius! Oi. Well, this is not exactly how I picture this. I imagine this to be my perfect chance to acquire Moku-chan's Pansu as per, si as per the Makuyobi Naughty Pansu Acquisition Program. Instead, instead I've been studying entomology with Imokan as Moku-chan goes on a rampage throughout the house wearing barely anything at all. This is totally absurd. Nice boobies. Listen, dude, I'm sorry about this. My sister's a handful. Moku-chan, cover your hoo-ha, dear. How come you haven't read from your book this whole time, player con? Why are you even bring it if you're not why did you even bring it if you aren't going to use it? I don't know. I guess it's just for good measure. I am lying. I've been using the book to hide my erection. I don't want Emokun to know I have a thing for his sister. If he found out, I have no idea what he would do to me. I must have my lust love. My desire is forbidden and yet so close. This must, must have been what it was like for Romeo and Juliet. Well, actually, I don't think Romeo and Juliet went to the same high school. I don't think that Romeo yearned for Juliet's pencil. Now that I think about it, the feelings were mutual. Okay, it's actually nothing like Romeo and Juliet, but I tried. If anything, it's more like Icarus or something. Wait, didn't Icarus die at the end of that story? I don't want to die. God, I'm horrible at metaphors. This is unfortunate. Dude, I need to dye my hair. My natural color is almost starting to come out of the roots. It's been at least three weeks since the time I dyed it. What's this? Emo kind of leaving? Okay, sure, that sounds fine by me. I'm just letting you know because then I'll be gone. He'll be alone with my sister for about two hours. I'll be away and I won't be able to hear anything. I don't have a feeling emo kind of already knows. I'm not sure why I'm telling you this information, but I just feel obligated to for some reason. He's gone. I'm alone with my beloved Moku-chan. For some reason, though, I feel immobilized. I can't do anything, but I must seize this day. Woo! Nice boobies. I hope you don't mind, player Ken, but I'm getting a little hungry. Hmm. This popsicle will hit the spot. Why does she do this? She's just trying to torture me. There's no way she needs to lick that popsicle that century. I think she has a thing for him. I would make my move now, but... Ugh, I know the second I try to do something, Emocom will just come back in and ruin everything. No wonder when no one likes him. He probably has emotional problems since he's such a shit stain. Hey, player cunt, do you know that it's healthy for a young woman to do a monthly breast examination? It actually is. It helps me present, prevent breast cancer. 
I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna essentially caress my budding breasts in front of you. Oh no. Oh no, this isn't right. This isn't real life, this is just fantasy. This is real life. Is this just fantasy? Caught it on that slide. No escape from reality. Okay. I love that song. My dick is screaming at me right now and I have to shut it up. I wish I could confess my feelings to Moby Chan now, but I know Emo Kun wouldn't have it. Fuck Emo Kun up his stupid emotional ass. I mean, look at Moku chan I don't even care about her pansu right now. I'll give everything, anything to get a chance at that piece of tail. Um, okay, I kind of burned part of my face off while I was dyeing my hair. I was also trying to straighten it. Apparently I used too much product or something because my hair caught on fire. My face is kind of falling off right now. I'm going to drive myself to the hospital now. Just letting you know, you guys are going to be alone for the rest of the day while I get facial reconstruction surgery. Wow, that's some bad luck, huh? Just me and you now, player Kun. I gurgle incomprehensibly. God dang it, I'm getting horny just reading this. I'm, seriously. Dang. Excuse me, my laundry is done. I'm just going to leave my pantsuit here. Aw, oh, come on. Really? Sensor? She just took off her pencil. Why did she even do that? What is even happening? I feel like my entire life is just an absurd, absurd dating sim visual novel with deplorable characters that break the fourth wall. There's almost no logic in this turn of events. I don't give a fuck because I finally got me some pencil! Yes! Finally. This is happening. I'm making this happen. These pants are so supple in my hands, I'm holding gently, holding them gently like a newborn child. I'm massaging them as one would do a French, freshly ground, ugh, can't talk, freshly ground hamburger meat. I feel the spandex against my fingers is almost orgasmic. I can see the pants are also slightly stained. Could this? <laughs> Could these be Mokuchan's dirty girly juices? I'm going to smell them to find out. Ah, yuck! <laughs> these don't smell like strawberries at all. Kind of smells like chicken McNuggets. Firecon, Mokuchan, I, I didn't. I mean, I was just. Thanks for so much for helping me fold my laundry. Wow, she doesn't think I was doing something naughty. I really lucked out with that one. You know, player Khan, you're a really nice boy. But like, after all these days sitting next to each other awkwardly in lunch has made me feel a lot closer to you. You're something really special. I wish my Oni Chan was as sugoi as you. Well, you may be a nice boy, but your one eye trousers <laughs> one eye trouser snake is saying otherwise. He's as hard as a rock on a hot summer day in July. Ah! Holy shit, too! I'm such a baka. In my brief moment of foolishness, I stand up and reveal what I have been trying so hard to conceal for so long. My wrecked penis. Looks like you're pretty set excited to see me. Tee! It's oh, oh, it, that's uh. Dude. How can I become so careless? I don't want Moku-chan to know that I get erections. This is so embarrassing. No, it's not what you think. I think you're hot for me, player and That's what it seems like to me. I know things. I do have to say, though, your bulge is a lot bigger than my brother's. And he, he even wears skinny jeans, so it's a lot easier for me to see it. N not that I'm looking. She thinks I'm big? I never really thought about it. I never looked around at the other guy's dicks in the shower because, I mean, I'm not gay or anything. Personally, I find penises really gross looking and stuff. Yeah, they kind of are. If I'm this big, if I am big, this is a highly prized sexual advantage. Does this mean that Mukuchan wants to see my penis for herself? Does she want to touch it or do naughty things with it with her mouth? Good lord. Oh my, this is all so sudden. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this stage of our relationship. 
We've only met, just met a week ago. About a week ago. And already I've smelled her pants and she knows I get erections for her. This is not good. Oh, it's called puberty. Player Kun, I have never seen a dangly thing before with my own two eyes. My, always, my brother always hides his when I try to get a peek at it. I've always wondered what they're like, but of course you don't want to show me because that would make things awkward in our student aid buddy relationship, right? Although maybe. Ah, she's using mind games on me. Girls are evil like this. She comments on my man meat. She says she wants to see it, but then she says she doesn't want to see it. She is a sly one. Despite her coyness, I'm sure that she, right now she's thinking about getting a hot ticking. I can't hold it anymore. This pent up frustration is more bad than when I had backed up poo poo in my bee hole. <laughs> my overdose on Captain Crunch. You know, I can't take this pressure. It's building up. I'm gonna explode. Here it is. It's gonna happen. I'm about to take the next step in acquiring Mokuchan's monochromatic pussy. Whip it out, whip it out, whip it out. Let you see for yourself. I probably pull out my cockpit just as my pants hit the floor. I hear a loud crash. Inexplicable kawaii entity. Mokubi chan! Mokuyubi chan! Sorry. The hour has arrived! Moku chan is distracted by this inexplicable kawaii entity and doesn't even notice how big my dick is. No, it can't possibly be. Yes, Lord Shokushu Gokan has returned from the temporal prison of Demon Souls. For some reason, this inexplicable kawaii entity speaks like a very old Japanese man. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a Japanese accent because I can't. This must mean the army of Nega demons has begun reaping souls across the earth once again. What can we possibly do to stop them, Clamp Chan? In any case, there isn't much time. You must have realized by now there are Nega demons harvesting souls across Japan. Seems as though they plan to infiltrate high schools like your own, Sakura Blossom Academy, and use their mind control powers to trick others into thinking they're friendly, normal human beings. Be on the lookout for large headed, scary monsters everywhere. Trust no one. But right now, that will have to wait. We must make, a ha must make haste to the plane of this happiness and close the oblivion gate. You're right, if we let negative demons plant spawning pods in the sewer system, it will only be a matter of time before Japan is engulfed by darkness. Okay. You must transform quick Moku-chan. Transform into Nico Nico Princess. Ah, wow. Okay. Nice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What is this? What is going on? Is there a, I don't understand. Is there a gas leak in here? My dick is still hanging out and it seems though Moku-chan has turned into some sort of cat-themed magical girl. Why did she suddenly become so well drawn? Holy fuck buckets! This is unprecedented! Can we even afford art of this magnitude? <laughs> I love how it talks like outside the game. I thought I was the main character. Shouldn't I be well drawn? Hell, I'm not even drawn at all. Is the universe in danger or something? This seems like something right out of one of my Japanese animes, but that kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life, right? This is by far the strangest thing I've ever experienced. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to feel right now. I mean, I'm a little disappointed because I thought I was going to get my dick wet. Ugh. What's I gotta get a drink? Ugh. Warm and flat. But now I just feel embarrassed that I'm standing here half naked watching my student aid buddy transform into a magical girl. I need help. I'm lost. Not only do I have to rethink my place in the universe as well as what constitutes reality, but that's my relationship with Mocha chan Am I good enough to date a magical girl? Do you think this would affect our romantic relationship? I mean, would she change plans a lot? To save the world and stuff? 
I don't cope very well with disappointment. I can imagine it right now. It's our third anniversary and I buy her flowers and spend a lot of money on a limo and fancy restaurants and everything. And she doesn't even show up. She's too busy slaying demons or something to even give me the time of day. I'm not even that girl. What a bitch. Well, I'm glad I found this out sooner rather than later. It's not good to keep secrets in such a serious long-term relationship. Although I th think we still can work this out. It's going to take compromise on the part of both of us, lots of patience, and possibly some relationship counseling. But I really want to make this work. Oh, nice. See what's on the table here? Oh, well, she's gone. I think she teleported to another dimension or something. And what the hell was that talking marshmallow object? What was its name? Clampton? Clampton. Weird shit, man. Hello? My face is reconstructed. Is anyone here? Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Why is your dick out, player con? And where is my sister? Oh no, he's going to think I'm a pervert. I bet he's gonna kill me. Oh fuck. He's gonna think I had his, my way with his sister, brutally murdered her with an axe, and threw her body in a wood chipper. That's a little extreme, wouldn't you say? He probably thinks I'm a serial killer. It would be a wonder if he doesn't kill me right here and now. Well, in any case, I deserve it. It's not my fault for trying to make a pass at his little sister. I decided that I'm just gonna tell him the truth. Emo Khan, your sister isn't here. She's she's a magical girl and teleported into another dimension to fight demons or something. Oh, okay. That still doesn't explain why you're waving your dick in my face. I, I, I. I'm stuttering. I can't possibly think of a way out of this. Shh. Let it happen. Okay, that got really weird really fast. Emo kind puts his finger on my mouth. It's okay, it's just you and me now. You don't have to hide your feelings anymore. What? You know, I haven't made any moves myself because I'm pretty shy. I'm glad that you're brave enough to confess your lust to me. Oh no! Oh, crap. I have been enraptured by your man most ever since I first smelled your pantsu. Oh! Nice! Wow. I think I just realized how creepy I've been to Moku-chan. Oops. Take me now, player gun, you big stud muffin you. Your junk has a considerably larger amount of heft than my own. I'd like to take it for a test drive. Eee. Okay. He reaches my dick, and I use a mighty backhand to stop him from touching my junk. Ah, I'm screaming. I begin running down the street in fear of turning gay. <laughs> I was seconds away from being touched inappropriately without consent. This was the most terrifying experience ever. I devised a plan to run home and masturbate to Sailor Moon pornography in order to retain my heterosexuality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that should work. That was a close one. This is the weirdest story. Oh my god, I'm getting a headache. Well, two months have passed and it has become summer break. I really like summertime. I get to break, take a break from my rigorous studies and relax. Oh, I forgot to mention that I passed my state aptitude test for the mentally deprived and I have been deemed okay guy. So I don't need a student aid buddy anymore. It made me sad when I found out this news because I thought that I would no longer see my star-crossed lover, ex-student aid buddy, Moku-chan, again. It's okay, because Emo-kun is my roommate and I still get to see Moku-chan on a regular basis. Things are a little awkward between me and Emo-kun, though, since he seems to want me in a sexual way and everything. But we're all friends now. This is really great because I also live at Secure Blossom Academy. If I didn't have any friends at school, then I would really be, be really in the dumps. I have really great friends in Emokan, Moku-chan, and Lajo Senpai. 
We are the best of friends forever. It's funny how such bitter enemies like me and Emokun can grow to be such cool bros. All such good friends, in fact, that we are going to the annual Sakura Bo Blossom Cherry Blossom Festival together. It's going to be a great time. I picked out a special kimono just for the occasion. Oh, I can't wait to see Moku-chan in a pretty kimono. She'll look like a beautiful angel of heaven for my K-pop idols. I have been looking forward to this festival the entire school year. I know I haven't really mentioned it much, but right from the start I was excited for this festival. Since Moku-chan and I are friends now, I figured this romantic festival will be the perfect time for me to confess my love to her and finally win her heart. I realized that her pansu was not enough. Even requiring her vagina would be an empty victory if I do not capture her heart. Nice. I must win Moku-chan's love no matter what. This is my new goal. I call it Mokuna Mokuyobi Nani Pansu Acquisition Program 2. This time it's personal. With such an awesome name, there's no way I can fail. I start putting on my kimono after I make sure Emokun isn't watching. He's always trying to get a peek at my junk. But I know he would never act on it or anything. So it's cool when we're still friends. I'm not gay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna stop there for now. Oh, I gotta give my voice a rest. I'll be right back. Whew, okay. I'm back. This is exhausting. Alright, the Sakura Blossom Cherry Blossom Festival. I arrive at the festival and immediately find Moku-chan. Aw, oh, doesn't she look pretty? It wasn't hard because I can always just follow my heart to lead me to my true love. Or the stars, because they seem to be on my side lately. They are friendly conspirators. Oh, hi all! Moku-chan's Desu levels are approaching critical mass and are attempting to destroy my soul. She bounces a little bit and wiggles her bottom as she squeals in high-pitched tone that only small girls can reach. I guess that's why they call it puberty, huh? Hi, Moku-chan. Lovely day for a festival. Yes, it is. I'm so excited. I've been waiting all school year for this festival. Me too. You look quite lovely in your kimono, by the way. Thanks, player kun I look bang in Desu. So, what do you want to do? We have a full day ahead of us. I'm thinking we can start by meeting up with Emokun and Larjo Senpai. They're around here somewhere. Emokun and Larjo, Larjo Senpai. Largo Senpai. The Larjo is Largo. Drat them. Double drat them. They will escort my dear Moku-chan. How I love her. I can't let Emokun and Largo Senpai foil my plans to court Moku-chan. I know that if we spend the day together in a, lo in a group, that'll probably be very lovely, but any chance that Moku-chan's heart won't fade into another dimension. Come on, we don't want to be douchebags and leave people hanging around with their dicks waving in the air. Let's get a move on. Vamanos, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Oh, fly. Away. My dick retreats into my torso as I find this little phrase to be extremely obnoxious. But no matter, even words cannot stop my love quest for Moku-chan's heart. I follow Moku-chan through the crowded streets. We pass by stalls selling kimchi and sushi and curry bread and corn dogs. I'm kind of kind of in the mood for a corn dog right now, actually. We walk together for a while until we find our friend group because I don't want to be considered a douchebag. Hey guys, it's so nice to see you. Hey little sis. Also, hey dweeb. Hi dude. Hi. <laughs> Hi dude. Logo Senpai. Logo Senpai just does his usual thing where he stands there looking at, into the abysmal void of space, no doubt contemplating the downfall of the human race. Yumokun does his usual thing, looking lonely and sad. I don't know why I hang out with these kids. So, what do you want guys, guys want to do today? I don't care. Even though I have been looking forward to this festival the entire school year, 
My role as lead vocals of Tears of Unenthusiasm seems that I always be unenthusiastic. I can't betray my bandmates' trust. Do you even play? I've never heard you play anything or even sing. I also didn't know you had friends. Shut up. Logo Senpai stands there as per usual. His stare penetrates my soul. Well, uh, it seems like you guys have no idea what you want to do, so player gun, how about you decide? Get a corn dog, go play a game where you throw baseballs at bottles, or whip out your manhood. I whip out my manhood. I whip out my cock so that everyone can marvel at its grandeur. I didn't think he's gonna do it. I'm sure everyone will be impressed. They're not. Alright, let's take a moment here and reflect. This is no longer Playerkin's interior monologue. This is a third person narrator speaking. What the fuck do you think you could happily you could possibly accomplish by pulling out your dick in this situation? I mean Christ. It must be really awkward if you think that whipping out your cock is an appropriate thing to do anywhere at any time. I mean seriously, you are one ignorant mother. Yeah, okay. I bet you thought that was funny, right? Oh yeah, ha ha ha. Very funny. You made player can whip out his penis. Do you have any idea how awkward you made player can feel? Right now he is getting stoned to death by mothers gathered around him after seeing the horror that his is his genitalia. This is your fault. Player Kun's death is on your conscience now. How does that make you feel? I bet you're just laughing right now, you freaking sociopath. Death is funny to you, huh? Wow. Remind me not to ever invite you to one of my parties. You may be thinking to yourself, yeah, but none of these other choices mattered before, so what is it now? See? I told you. You don't question my art. Just like I don't run to your house when you're taking a dump and critique you on your finesse and shitting sick. God. Shitting technique. If you want to play this over again and try to be get a better ending, you can. I will allow you one more chance. I hope you saved at some point. Well, I didn't. Oh, that was a bad Ah, oh, really? Ugh, cripes. That sucked. Ah, I didn't save it. Gosh darn it. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm back. I'm back at the choices here. Uh, should I get a corn dog or go play the game? I'm gonna go play the game. I like that. Hey guys, you wanna go play the game where you throw baseballs at bottles and try to knock them down? I don't know what it's called, but they always always have them have that in stereotypical film scene scenes set at carnivals and festivals and stuff. Uh, okay, I guess. That actually sounds like a swell time. Lead the way, player con. I escort my friends across the festival to the game zones. Well, here we are. You go first, Lord Largo Senpai. You must be big and strong with all that muscle of yours. I bet your thick flowing locks of blonde hair will help you in some roundabout way as well. What? He doesn't have thick locks of blonde hair. I am confusion. I think that's supposed to be I'm confused. Logo Senpai levitated the baseballs with his mind and then shot them at the bottles, completely shattering them. Wow. Logo Senpai, that's really hot of you to destroy those bottles. That's something a real man would do. Hmm. What's so great about Logo Senpai, huh? I mean, he's a nice guy and all, but he seems to have this unnatural charm with the ladies. It's as if he uses some other demonic, some sort of demonic telepathic, it's supposed to be telepathy, to control how they view him. Nah, that's crazy talk. I'm talking like some sort of insane person that doesn't follow any sort of logical logic. Yeah, well now that Largo Senpai has broken the game, there's nothing for us to do. Oh no, that is a problem of sorts. We must remedy that situation. Post haste. Hoku Chan is talking like a fucking weirdo, but I agree with her. Why don't you choose what we do next, player gun? It does seem as though you are the decision man. Decision man. Go watch fireworks or straighten things out. I'm gonna go watch. How about we go watch the fireworks? That seems like a perfectly normal and logical thing for a group of friends to do at the Cherry Blossom Festival. 
Yeah, it does. Let's do this. It sounds like it'll be a swell time. We go and watch the fireworks. It's lovely. My, these fireworks sure are lovely. That's what I just said. But I guess since I said that in my head, she couldn't hear me. This festival has turned out to be a perfectly average evening of young friends hanging out. I dread go back and going back to school because it really sucks, but it's what I have to do. This evening seems very average. This is congruent to my ideals. I still think that guy's a cock slap. Well, anyway, this is a festival. We pretty much just watched the fireworks for a while. It was a nice and pleasant evening. That's about it. Show's over. We're done here. You can play this game over again if you don't like. If you like. There's more interesting endings than this one. I died in two of them. Don't pick those. You're an asshead. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks for playing, though. You seem to be a very logical and decent human being to make the choices you have made. What's a fourth wall? Bye, guys. See you next semester. I'll still be here. Okay, that was a neutral ending. Ah, alright. Be right back again. Okay, I am back again. There's one more that I want to do. One more ending. I want to straighten things out with Emokun. Hey, Emokun. Yeah, Dwee Lord. What do you want? Just want to talk to you a bit alone, is all. Would you guys mind? No, not at all. That's fine. This means me and Largo Senpai will finally get to spend some quality time together. Hmm, I don't like the sound of that one bit. Well, my decision is already made. There's absolutely nothing I can do at this point to stop the upcoming, upcoming turn of events. So, what did you want to talk about, dude? I mean, you could have used any of the times we saw each other back in the dorm room to talk about whatever is bothering you. Why did you choose right now to talk about this? Um, I don't know. But I want to do this now. Your sister just told me that you're homosexual. I didn't know this, this before. I mean, I'm cool with it, but I have the strange feeling that you have feels for me or something. Oh, yeah, well, I kind of do, but it's cool, man. I only treat you as a sexual object. You don't have any legitimate feelings for you, nor do I respect you, really. You're a good roommate, though. Yeah, man, you too. This bro binding moment feels more homoerotic than I previously had anticipated. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying. I thought we're alone, though. I have something to confess to you. Is it your love for me? If that's the case, then I take back what I said before. I really do love you, player Gun. You're my shining star, my own personal Freddie Mercury. Ah, uh, no, dude. I actually was gonna say that I love your sister. Well, then, I take back what I said again, and you're still just a sexual object. Also, that's neat that you love my sister. Really? You don't want to kick my ass? No, it's whatever. I don't really care. Besides, if I have, if I feel if I even attempted to lift my leg up to kick you, I would just rip my jeans. They're so tight, man. They cut off my circulation sometimes. First word, world problems, huh? I can't even take them off when I go to sleep, so I'm always stuck with these tight ass jeans on. My legs fall asleep all the time. It's super annoying. That's the price you have to pay to be as hardcore as me. Okay, thanks. I'm going back to the other people now. Oh, oh no. This cannot be. Logo Senpai has stolen my betrothed. This is a sad day in the world of player come. My best friend and also future girlfriend has been kidnapped and stolen by that big-headed European. I don't want this to be the way this ends. I hate this. How can you do this to me, Moku-chan? You are truly in love with that creature? I stifle, stifle back bomb at the thought of them engaging in quietus. This is terrible. Sex. I don't see how this day could, could have possibly worked out any worse than, any, than me dying in some freak accident for doing something incredibly stupid. It sure is the pits. But in a way, the scene is very nice and romantic. If only I was the one standing there instead of Largo Senpai. I guess it's because I'm a fucking asshole and I suck. Oh, another bad ending. Ah, oh, I didn't save it. God darn it. Senpai! 
Okay. Let's see if there's any more endings. Hold on. Let's... Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna choose back at the festival. I did these two. Let's get a corn dog. Hey, Moku-chan. Let's get a corn dog together because that's what best friends do. Get corn dogs together. Wouldn't that be a mean thing to abandon all our friends? No, it's okay. I don't really care. I don't have any depth of character aside from being an emo cock slap. Oh, okay. Yes, emo kind is being a nice guy after all. I knew there would be a day where he would be cool. This is going to be such a kawaii time. Plus, I get to watch Moku-chan eating that phallic-shaped corn dog ever so seductively. I will use my imagination to produce Check my own penis onto the corn dog. What a corn dog man, this guy is. Actually, wait, never mind. That would be kind of terrible. She's going to be taking bites out of the corn dog. Ouch. That would hurt like fuck. Yeah, you think? I am really terrible at metaphors. If that's a metaphor, I don't know. I'm no good anymore. I'm terrible. Mmm, these corn dogs are so sugoi. That's pretty awesome that she's enjoying the corn dog I bought for her. I was worried she was allergic to corn, or possibly dog. You know, Moku-chan, I'm really enjoying this time that I'm, I'm sharing with you now here together that we're doing. That is very nice of you to think that, player kan I do not abhor your presence, either. Talks like that. Right now I'm feeling a little bad, though. While I'm here at this festival, Lord... Shokushu Gokan is using his army of nega demons to reap souls as we speak. I'm a bad magical girl. No, don't say that. I'm sure you're a perfectly adequate magical magical girl. You really think so? Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure everything will be fine. You need to do something to get your mind off of it. I suppose so, but I'm incapable of making my own decisions because I'm a dating sim visual novel character. What do you want to do, player con? Okay, now I get more choices. I'm gonna make a fool of myself first. Ah! What the hell are you doing? It appears as though I'm squirting mustard all over your body. I realize that you fuckface! Stop! I can't do some sort of paranormal first that is compelling me to do this to you. As if I... it's... As if I have no choice of free will. It's like some unseen hand is directing my every movement and for some reason wants me to make a fool of myself. Not me. You're crazy and also a stupid asshole. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. I don't even want you getting anywhere near my pants, so... Aww. I'm going to get a restraining order on you, you stupid idiot baka gaijin. Gaijin. No, it's come to this. My Muku-chan is going to hate me forever. Because I had just, just had to go and make a fool of myself. Suddenly I have caught on fire. What the hell? You're on fire. What the heck? That doesn't even make any sense. I proceeded to wet myself and defecate out of habit. I begin burning in a fire inferno. My body has become a blazing pillar of death. And the side of my charred frame brings horror to all those around me. Ah, that's the other death one, I think. My body smells like bacon. I consider eating one of my fingers to see if I taste like bacon before I die. I die before I can do that. I'm dead now. Ah! Ah, okay, I'm gonna go back and do the other ending. Woo! Right back. Here I am. Ah, I'm going to pick... Go do karaoke. Would you like to go sing some karaoke with me, Moku-chan? It'll be a pretty desu time. Sure, sounds more fun than being at the center of a bukkake party. Ooh, gross. That doesn't sound very fun to me, Moku-chan. Well, that's because you're probably a heterosexual cis male, Lyricon. If you wanted dozens of strange men to ejaculate on your face and chest, you'd be a gay man, like my brother. Whoa, wait, your brother is gay? Yeah, couldn't you tell? I mean, he was sending out some signals, but I wasn't sure if he was gay or just European like Largo Senpai. Nope, he's a gay. 
Oh, okay. So you want to do that karaoke now or something? Yeah, I love singing. I'm a professional. Really? No. Oh, okay. Dance on the floor, clap and eat a handbag. Yours and only yours. I want a stable dance style. That's no lie. Muka-chan, you know those aren't the real lyrics. Caramel da dancing. The song is in Swedish. Why are you singing, singing in English anyway? Aren't we supposed to be speaking in Japanese? But we've been speaking English this entire time. What visual novel have you been reading? But I thought that was just because it, it was assumed that what everyone has been saying is like automatically translated or something. So that it's easily accessible for our English speaking audience. Like myself. No. Oh, okay. So we continue do doing karaoke stuff for a while. It's okay, I guess. I mean, all I can really think about is sticking in her pooter. I have a mild direction the entire time, and this affects my singing quality. I find it incredibly hard to sing in falsetto because I am just feeling so goddamn manly. I never really played the karaoke game before. I'm not very good at it, it seems. I don't remember the words and everyone is laughing at me. Okuchan seems seems to find it cute though. Score. Her sopping wet grayscale pussy will be mine. I laugh maniacally a bit to myself. What's so funny? Nothing. Just thinking about how pleasurable it will be to finally deflower your rose. Oh, player can you're so romantic. Moku-chan giggled and swayed to and fro, her adorable little twin tail nearly, slap nearly slapping me in the face. You're very poetic, too. You have such a way with words. Well, I mean, I am the man. Maybe you will get a chance to prove that yourself later. Ooh, what did Moku-chan mean by that? Does she mean that she really wants a hot dicking? I mean, she did mention before that my dangly thing was quite possibly an above average size. This is a great successful victory. Everything is going according to plan. This night is going to be perfect. Since arriving at the Sakura Blossom Academy, I was worried that I wouldn't find friends, let alone find love. I found both, and life seems, seems to be going just peachy perfect. At this rate, I will soon begin phase 3 and achieve ultimate happiness levels. I look over at Moku-chan, who has begun singing another song. She's talking, taking everyone's turn at the karaoke bar because she has such a strong personality. It's really cute and I am about to ugu, ugu if these keep up. She looks so pretty and perfect in her holiday kimono. Whenever I see her in that kickin' rad kimono, I nearly cream my jeans. Metaphorically, of course. I may not have very control over my bowels thanks to my CC abuse. I'm no premature ejaculator. Okay. Moku chan hands the microphone to me. Our hands briefly brush against each other and we both feel embarrassed. I notice my own face getting warm as Moku chan tries to conceal her blushing cheeks. Okay. I was brought food. Yay! It's only twelve thirty at night. You know. I'm eating egg salad. Oh well. Hey, player Kun, let's go look at the cherry blossom. That is the point of the festival, at all, after all. Right. And nod my head. We start heading over to the lakeside, which is where the cherry blossoms fall from the trees. It is a beautiful night. The sky is dark and amber starlight. That's the skies. Crickets trip quietly all around us as we hear the distant sounds of the festival. Music, chatter, and laughter. We both look back and see children playing in the grass. We both smirk at the quaint scene before us. We stand amongst the cherry blossoms that fall gently to the ground all around us. Moonlight shimmering off the lake. Around us couples hold hands and some lean against the trees and express their love for each other via physical affection. I realize that this could be considered our first actual date. Make a paper boat out of a dirty napkin and turn to Moku-chan. Do you want to set this out on the water? Sure, that sounds like it would be lovely. We both lean over and Moku-chan grabs the paper boat with me. 
We'll let go of the boat simultaneously and watch it as it floats across the water. Its gentle drifting lulls both of us into serene sense of happiness. We are slightly startled by the fireworks that began going off in the distance. The festival is coming to a close. I don't want this perfect day to ever end. I gently place my hand on Mokuchan's. I can't decide which is a more beautiful sight. The fireworks in the calm black sky are the perfect contours of Mokuchan's face. It feels as if the stars themselves are smiling at me. This is probably the happiest moment in my young life. Coming to Sakura, Sakura Blossom Academy was a blessing in disguise. I look deep into Mon Moku Chan's eyes. The dripping pools of warmth that sit before me reflect my own face, my own life, my own dreams, my own hope. Player can I. Our faces are inches apart. Oh, are you gonna kiss? I see Moku Chan close her eyes and bring her lips closer to mine. Hold up! Whoa! I pull away. Holy fuck, I just realized something. I'm gay! Yes, everything makes sense now. Oh, come on! Don't do this. I don't really love Moku Chan, I love her brother, Emo Kun. Man, he is such a fucking stud muffin. I want not I want on that milkshake's man's meat. I have finally realized my true calling in life. I will marry Emokun if it's the last thing I do. And so I did. It was a beautiful ceremony and we lived happily ever after in marital bliss. Oh, crud. That wasn't a happy ending. Darn it. Alright, well, that's it. That's all the endings are. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good grief. <sighs> really? Thanks for playing, you disgusting degenerate. Uh -huh. I am not. Alright, well, that's it. That is the whole game, all the endings, I suppose. I didn't see any other ones. <sighs> The only endings that you can get are later on. The other choices really don't matter. It just goes on. So, this is Mama to Five, and I hope you enjoyed that. That was interesting. Can't wait to edit this one. Oh boy. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed it, as I said, and thank you for watching. Take care. See ya.